people have been asking me to update your creating a template video. So this is my updated create a template video. We're going to go ahead and start on the create screen and we are going to add a wallet today. Most of these wallets use the same template. So we're just going to make one and that's going to cover all of the wallets except this little one here and this folding one here. We'll just click the first one. And it just takes a moment to bring the screen up and we skip this step. And that's important because you want to skip that in order to get the right um, name later on. I'll show you in a moment. Now you can see all of these wallets will be available just by making this one template. So you don't need to make each of these other wallets in addition. What we're going to do is go ahead and hit add image. And I need to get to the image that I want. The images that I'm using today are going to be some pattern images. And I want this to not have those white stripes on the edges. So I'm going to go ahead and go in here and tell it to fill. And the options are fit or fill in there. What fit would do is it fits the longest side and as opposed to the shortest side, fill will fit the shortest side and the longest side will simply overlap. If you wanted to see it in a different view, you can look at it in a different view. Those options are all available. So if you were to arrange and use fit, it would fit it this way, leaving a white gap at the top and bottom. And I don't want that. So I'm going to use fill. I design all of my images to the same dimensions so that the fill will always work for them. Even on this case where it overlaps, I have the images designed to allow for some bleed. The next thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to click the gear wheel and say, make this a template object. This is a very important step. Always make sure the UR parameter name is image zero with no spaces, no capitals. Every single product you need to do this for. If your product is something like a coffee mug or a purse that has two sides, the second one will come up and say image one, image one with no spaces. You need to change the second line to a zero. The first line does not matter in this case. Then I'm going to go ahead and set this to fill because I always want it to fill and I'll close this window and hit post for sale. Now, because this is a template section and no one's going to see it, I just kind of put an A in each of these. I say it's for anyone. I put four A's in here. I have it going into the new product section because that's where I want my templates to be. It is G rated. We want it public. We want it a template and we want it to be customizable. So nothing there has to change. Yes, I want to publish this and I've set my royalty rate and I'm going to post it. Now we're going to go back and we're going to do another product and I click the create button just out of habit and come back to this screen. We will go ahead and do something that would involve two sides. And what we'll do is we'll do a business card. This way you can see how to do a front and back image. This would also apply to coffee mugs. If you want the image on both sides, you would go ahead and use this same technique. Again, we wait for it to pop up and then we skip this step and say, add image. Again, we want to fill this image. And obviously, if you prefer your image to be fit versus fill, these are patterns. So I just want them to overlap the edges. Now on the back side is where we're going to go ahead and let people put their information. So we're going to add text.
And what we want to do when we make this into a template is this time, the top line here, you do want to name it. And the reason for that is because this is what's going to be visible over on the right hand side of the screen when someone makes a purchase of this item. They'll see the word name and they'll click name to change their name. I'm not going to go ahead and fill this whole thing in right now just because my video has to be timed. So I only have a limited amount of time. Always click back to whichever image you want to be the front one before you hit post for sale. And then again, we're just going to fill this out quickly because we do want this to simply be a template. No one's going to see it. Make sure all those are at yes and hit post it. So that is how you're going to make your template. You're going to do this for every product that you want to be in that template for quick create. There is a maximum of 100 products per template. So if you're going to go over a hundred, that means that you're going to need to put the second hundred into a separate folder section, whatever you want to call it. And then what you'll do is you'll add the image to the first section, which for my case, you could see was called new product. And then I might make a second one and call it new product two. And then I would go back and add the image a second time using that second template. If I wanted more than a hundred products with this design on it, that is the only way to currently do it. The next video I'll be making will be how to use quick create in order to access these templates.